In today's video, I want to do a quick overview of the avenues in which I make passive income and rank them as good, the bad, and the downright ugly. Hola everyone, it's Miss B Money here from Crypto Connections. Welcome back and a warm hello to those of you who are new here. If you are new here, it would really mean the world to me if you click on the subscribe button below and become part of our community. And be sure to also click on the notification bell to be notified of my latest uploads. It's been another event filled week to say the least. Some pleasant surprises and some not so pleasant events. So I thought I'd take a step back and take stock. Let's start with the ugly category. Then I'll cover what I have tagged as bad and finish off with unicorns and sparkles talking about what I have tagged as good and even great. So let's talk about the ugly. Do you ever wonder where or who ever came up with that word? Seriously, as I contemplate that, I realize that this word is made up of UG and lie. Kind of appropriate. The winners for the ugly category are, drumroll please, HyperEth and Quadriga. This past week, we mourned the death of a DAP. Unfortunately, I didn't get the amount I gambled back and I'm sure many of you were in the same boat. But I knew the risk going in and of course only gambled what I could afford to lose. Like I've mentioned in my earlier videos, I've actually linked one above in the card that will pop up very shortly. But what I've mentioned in my earlier videos is with dApps, it's critical to have new investors streaming in. If this doesn't happen, then the contract will drain. We witnessed this very thing this week. So it's sad to say that HyperEth is dead. In addition, I also wanted to add to my ugly category, the court case for Quadriga. It's now moving along and a motion was made to transition into bankruptcy. So it's not sounding good. And there's also been a request to uh, freeze the assets of Jennifer Robertson and Gerald Cotton's estate. Both of these were granted. All of the affected users, sorry, all of the affected users should have received this email that I'm showing here. It basically details the latest updates. So be sure to check your email. It's also important to note that in this email, they talk about affected users being targeted by websites offering asset recovery services. It is important to note that the representative council is not associated with these websites and they're warning affected users not to trust these websites, claiming that they can recover our money. But of course, we have to provide them with personal data. Duh, not this girl. <laughs> okay, so that's my ugly for the week. Let's move on to the bad. And I had the pleasant surprise this week Dubly is still paying me, believe it or not. I understand that Dubly is paying some and others are being shut out of their accounts while others are being asked to pay a ransom to recover their funds. It's bad. The most recent withdrawal for myself was on Tuesday of this week and I'm only seven days away from doubling my investment. Unfortunately, others aren't so lucky. So doubly this week gets the bad badge and I truly hope something changes for those who are locked out. All I can suggest is keep trying. I have heard stories where some people weren't getting paid and then all of a sudden things worked. I myself had trouble with my pin and when I reset it, I was able to get my profits out again. I have linked the video above about re how to reset your pin. For those of you who want to give it a try again, I'm truly sending love and light to all of those who need it and envision you getting your funds out. Okay, let's shake off that bad energy and move on to greener pastures. The winner of the good category this week is, drum roll please, HyperEth440. 
It was a new Ethereum dApp that basically popped out of nowhere. And some of you may be saying, Miss B, why are you only giving it a good rating? Well, it's new on the market. I am always cautious to jump the gun or give something praises before I truly know it. I'm fairly skeptical by nature or maybe even suspicious. Either way, Hyper ETH 440 came out of nowhere and besides, I bet you already know what my favorite's going to be, but I will leave that goodie for the last. So with Hyper ETH 440, it launched on Tuesday of this week. It's still early, but there has been some really good signs. It quickly gained traction within 24 hours and it almost reached 200 ETH. I'm happy to say at the time of recording this video, we have now reached 203 ETH in contract. This smart contract definitely stands out from the rest. I believe it's these aspects that will help to draw in new investors. The first feature is that it locks our accounts for 20 days. On day 21, which is April 29th, we will be able to start withdrawing our funds. So you can see that here, a little reminder in green, can withdraw only after April 29th. During the 20 days, the smart contract balance will increase in value, which makes it look appealing to new investors and will allow it to continue to grow. That's exactly what we need. The other unique feature that I like about this is we have what's called the lucky pot. For every deposit in the contract that's made, 3% of that deposit is placed into the lucky pot. And when that lucky pot hits three ETH, which is roughly around $500, a winner is drawn. And that three ETH is automatically paid out to the user's wallet. What a nice surprise to check your wallet and see three extra ETH in there. I would definitely be doing the happy dance. <laughs> For this step, I have decided to not reinvest at this time and get my initial investment out first. Then the profits I will start that I will start to earn, I will reinvest and ride the wave, so to speak. Of course, this will be dependent at the time if the contract balance still looks healthy. One of my rules is don't FOMO in and don't be greedy. And that feels right for me. That might not feel right for you and that's okay. There are a few downfalls of doing this. One of them is being, I, if I don't reinvest, I don't have the chance to win the lucky pot of three ETH, but that's okay. Like I said, my goal is to get whole first and then play. Of course, you need to do what's right for you. Everyone is different. Everyone's situation is different. Everyone's amount that they can risk is different. Do what you feel is right for you. Okay, last but not least, my favorite platform, and I know many of you already know what this is. The one and only EXP asset. Let me just pause here for a second and log in. Okay, I'm back. I can't tell you how excited I am about this platform. It has been a steady income earner for me, earning roughly uh, 50, what is it? 55 something a week, 54.90 a week. And it's been paying me that weekly with no glitches. While other platforms have come and gone, EXP Asset has been around for two years now and they continue to focus on expanding the company and bringing innovative solutions to its partners. As most of you know, I invested in this on January 1st, 2019. And in about another week, I will have earned my initial investment back and everything after that is free money. Gotta like it. A few points for those of you who are new to eXp Asset. Don't forget to go into your settings and verify your account. Of course, I'm not gonna go into my account settings, which is right here, because it will show you my personal data. And I do like to keep my personal data private for security reasons <laughs> but that's where you'll have to go to verify your account it's important that you you provide them with your factual information in other words 
your real name, your address, and your contact information. This platform has KYC or Know Your Customer and it's important to give them factual information. Also, there has been numerous attempts to scam people or hack their accounts. So I would also suggest that you set up 2FA on your account as one extra level of security. And last but not least, be sure to set up your BTC wallet address for where you want your Bitcoin withdrawals to be deposited to. This way, when you're ready to do a withdrawal, your first withdrawal, it won't take all this time waiting for your account to be verified and everything else. I just helped a friend get her account verified after she attempted it a few times. And I say a few times because she had a few issues. And once we figured it out, we realized that it was her photo ID that expires within the next six months. So it's important to note that if you have photo ID that expires within the next six months, EXP Asset will deny your account verification. If at any time you don't know why your verification was denied, reach out to support. They are always very helpful and quick to respond. I have had no issues with EXP Asset. In fact, they continue to impress me and that's why they get a stamp of great in my view. If you are interested in getting into eXp Asset, I would suggest that you check out my previous videos which I will link at the end of this video and learn more about what plans may be best for you. In other words, what to put in binary and what to do with the matrix packages. Oh, and before I go, I just want to give a shout out to a new YouTuber to hit this space. Beating Crypto. He has some great content already and is really great at breaking down the basics and keeping it simple. Today he did a video on how to install the Saturn wallet. You really need to check out his channel and show him some love by hitting the, the likes up button and also subscribing to his channel. Make sure you click the subscribe over here and the little notification bell so that you uh, get notified every time that he does a video. Let's just play a little portion of his video right now. He always comments about what a great voice I have. His isn't too shabby either. Today I want to talk to you about how to set up a Saturn wallet for Hyper ETH and other Ethereum dApps. First thing you'll want to do is you'll want to do a web search for Google Web Store. Then you'll see the first result that pops up, Google Web Store. And then you'll want to click on the link here. Once you're in the Chrome Web Store, you want to click on Search Extensions. Then you want to type in Saturn Wallet. And then you just click here like that. It'll come up with Saturn Wallet. You click on the Saturn Wallet. Now this would work for both Chrome Browser and the Brave Browser. For the purpose of this video, I'm using the Brave Browser. But either one will work. Now you want to click here, Add to Chrome. You'll come up with a message, you click add extension. You'll do check in, and then it will say Saturn Wallet has been successfully installed. Come up with this pop up telling you some information about the Saturn network. No need to worry about that. No need to invest in any of their projects. Don't worry about that. Just leave that. Okay. Once your, wallet once your Saturn wallet has been installed, you'll want to click on this little Saturn icon here. Now you'll want to read through their terms and conditions, and then once you've read through the terms and conditions, you'll click the accept button. Now you've got two options. You can either create a new wallet, or you can import an existing, existing account from either MetaMask or, or the Saturn wallet. So if you were to import an existing account, you'll click on import existing account. You'll write your, your, your type in your seed words, you'll create a new password, and your wallet will be restored. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to show you how to create a new wallet. So we'll just cancel that. So first thing is you want to create a, a password. Minimum eight characters. To speed things up, I already created a password. So I'm just going to paste it here. So you paste it, that, click create. Next thing that's going to come up is you're going to have your 12 seed words. And make sure you write these down somewhere safe. 
if um, anything ever happens to your computer or you need to install the wallet on another computer you've always got a backup so just write them down on a piece of paper keep them safe don't give them to no one and you should be good to go once you've written them down and you put them somewhere safe you'll click on this button here i've copied it somewhere safe next thing is you'll notice in the wallet you've got you got zero ethereum nothing's in the wallet now how do you send funds to the Saturn wallet. Well, what you want to do is the quickest way I, I personally would do it is you click on these little three dots here, you will click on show QR code. Now, the best way to get funds on the Saturn wallet, in my personal opinion, is you'll download the Coinbase app either on your Android Play Store or iOS on the app on the Apple Store. But me for the purposes video, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna um, I'm gonna do it with the Android phone. So what you do is once you've bought your Ethereum with your debit or credit card, it's the quickest way to buy it. You'll want to click on you'll want to click on accounts. So I'll let you I'll end the video at that, and I'll let you go over and watch the rest of it on his channel. Thanks again, Beating Crypto, for the shout out the other day. And honestly, you're doing an amazing job. Keep up the great work. That's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed and if you did, please be sure to hit the thumbs up and leave a comment. It really helps to grow the channel. Have a blessed day everyone and until next time, hasta luego.